It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being here. I uh, request from yesterday uh, in the comment section. Someone wanted some more uh, Ernest T. Bass, so I'm going to give it to you. Here's seven nutty things that you never knew about Howard Morris from the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, we'll start with he only appeared as Ernest T. Bass five times. Uh, though the character immediately comes to mind when you think of Mayberry, Ernest only turned up in five mere episodes. His final appearance came in season six with Malcolm at the Crossroads. Uh, but that's not all you can see and hear of Howard Morris on the Andy Grippa Show. Uh, Ernest was not the only character he played on the Andy Grippa Show. In the episode, Andy and Helen had their day. The two lovebirds tried to spend the peaceful day alone uh, by the uh, Myers Lake. Of course, folks keep interrupting them. One of those pesky romance interrupters is George, the TV repairman and geeky fellow and spectacles in a bow tie. Yep, that's Howard Morris, who was also happened to direct the episode. Uh, he also played an unseen WMPD radio announcer, uh, the voice of Mount Pilot in the family visit, Barney's Bloodhound, and he was the voice of Leonard Blush. He voiced loads of famous cartoon characters. Morris was the man of many voices. His long association with Hanna-Barbera kicked off with the Jetsons, in which he portrayed Jet Screamer, the pop star who sang Eep, Op, Ork, Ah, Ah. I love that song. <laughs> Some of his other notable characters for the animation studio included Adam Ant, Mr. Peebles, uh, Magilla Gorilla, dozens of creatures on the Flintstones. He also landed a big gig with Filmation voicing Jughead Jones of the Archies. They had a hand uh, in your favorite McDonald's commercials and characters. And Morris was the original voice of Mayor McCheese. Plus, he took over for Larry Storch as the Hamburglar in the 1980s. How did Morris have such an in with McDonald's? Well, he happened to helm most of the McDonald's Land commercials. He directed dozens of the spots. My dad, Howard Morris, directed the vast majority of the original and now classic McDonald's Land commercials his son David wrote in 2018. Uh, he helped cast some amazing actors to play various crazy characters. Uh, those include Billy Curtis and Jerry Marin from The Wizard of Oz. Uh, he directed the pilot episode of Get Smart. Now, as you're beginning to see, Morris's credits in the director's chair are quite impressive and overlooked. He also directed the pilot episode of Get Smart, which lands, uh, which stands out from the rest of, for a couple of reasons. It's the only black and white episode for starters. And for that episode, Max drives a Ferrari. He directed Doris Day in her final film role. His work could be seen on the big screen, too. Morris directed several zippy comedy romps in the 60s, including with Six You Get an Egg Roll. Uh, the cast was stuffed with famous TV faces, including Jamie Farr, William Christopher, George Carlin, Brian Keith, and even Creed Bratton, who turned up on The Office decades later. But the blended family comedy, which happened to arrive a year before The Brady Bunch, is historically significant as the final feature film role of Doris Day. <clears throat> he entertained troops with Carl Reiner and Werner Klemperer during World War II. Morris served in the United States Army Special Services, the entertainment branch tasked with entertaining the troops. His outfit included future TV power players, including Carl Reiner and Werner Klemperer. Uh, Morris Evans, a bewitched and Batman, was the company commander. Reiner and Morris would later craft comedy gold on Sid Caesar's Your Show of Shows. Modern comedians like Conan O'Brien and Billy Crystal credit their work, in particular the sketch, This Is Your Story, for inspiring their careers. In case you didn't know, Werner Klemperer is Colonel Klink from Hogan's Heroes. Um, like I said, this was by request. This is why you're getting this one. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I want to let you know that Classic Rock and Country Music Packs of Trivia and the Beverly Hillbillies uh, Packs of Trivia will be off till Monday. Uh, 
As always, uh, Andy Griffith Show, Facts of Trivia will go through the weekend and on. Uh, as well, this weekend, uh, Classic TV Facts of Trivia, which over there um, is on MASH and an episode that CBS would not allow to be produced. Pretty, pretty neat. Weird subject, actually. Um, and uh, Faith and Entertainment, uh, today's video over there is uh, recommending a uh, Christian movie, uh, which today is uh, the, the true story of Jeremy Camp, uh, I still believe. Really, really good movie, man. Go over there and check that out if you don't mind. Just look up Ethan Entertainment. And if you need the link, just hit me up and I'll send it to you. That's no problem. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, any requests, let me know. God bless you. Please like this video. Thank you. You guys have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.